Okay, I am back for part two, uh, this time with the soy flavoured ramen. Um, of, of course, those of you who have seen uh, my previous uh, Pokemon food review know that I've already eaten this, so I'm not going to go into reviewing it and stuff. Quick look at the packaging. Uh, I think that's the same as the first one. Uh, probably, maybe. Oh! Oh, that's very cool. Ah, right, this is something I didn't twig on the first time. This is to advertise the anime spin-off, Mega Evolution. Um, I have not actually seen it yet. I know the first episode, and possibly the second episode, or ever, has been out. It's the OVA about that trainer and Seabold from the Elite Four and two other people. Um, so it sounds pretty cool. I will eventually watch it, but cool. This is, ah, uh, that's why you get Mega Evolution stickers. That's cool. Here's hoping for a uh, Lucario... Mega Lucario, or maybe Mega Mewtwo, or a Mega Ampharos, because that would be fucking cool. As you may have noticed, uh, Glyn and Tim are not with me this time, because I have killed them. No, I'm not actually, but uh, they, they they went home, because this is a separate day, because I don't eat loads and loads of ramen, you know, in, in a row. Now, this, as uh, you may have noticed, also has uh, Naruto with chess spin on it. If I do find one, I shall film that very briefly, but again, I'm not going to review this because I already know what the soy flavour tastes like, unless I've changed recipe. What I will do, however, is, as they both come with stickers, I shall open it up now and show you guys the sticker that comes with it. Because uh, that will be cool, I think. And, you know, why else are you watching this? You're not watching it for the food review part, anyway. That's a sticker. That's the back. And that's the Japanese name of the thing. Um, so if you can read Japanese, it's already spoiled for you. Much like the first part. Those of us who can't, namely, uh... I imagine quite a lot of people here could be watching this in English, and chances are if you can read Japanese, there's a high chance of you watching something in Japanese rather than this. Uh, and the sticker is da 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 da. Ooh, it's oh, okay. It is Floette. Cool. That's that's cool. Um, well, that was not a mega revolution at all. But on the side, it does say Pocket Monster X Y, which is cool because that's the generation Floette is from. Was it Flabebe? I don't know, or actually know it is for the baby, because Floette is underneath the flower holding it like an umbrella, I believe. Right, well, uh, Mega Absol in comparison then is really fucking cool, because Flo Baby isn't, I'm, I'm not a big fan, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't like the fairy types. Never used one, actually, I've never actually used a fairy type at all. Uh, obviously that's what it looks like without the water. So, I'll be right back to possibly show you the Naruto pieces, and if not, to open the Master Ball. Word of a lie, I didn't actually go and do it yet, as you can see with the dryness of it, because I realised that if I'm going to sit down and eat food, I might as well sit down and eat food rather than race through the food and then film this later on, uh, possibly when I'm more tired. So, let's go ahead and do this now. Same deal as before, you've got the Evolutions and uh, Mewtwo Charizard and the two Gensects. This is in a Master Ball, I have a feeling it may be one of the four cool ones, as in sort of, not that Charizard and Mewtwo and stuff aren't cool. Uh, uh, sorry, not that the Evolutions aren't cool, it's just I, I, much like I'm sure a lot of you at home maybe, would prefer a you know Charizard or a Mewtwo or something to an Evolution because well the the Evolutions whilst they're cool and I certainly you know like some of them they are kind of everywhere in the media and it gets a bit tiresome after a while going oh look it's another Evolution okay then are we ready it is that's the sweet also I didn't point out before but they're Pikachu's other way around. The Pikachus and the Pokeballs and stuff, and that's the sweet that I sort of liked-ish, and it was okay. And we have... Oh, yes! Red Gensect! Ah! Ah, fucking cool. I love Gensect, and Red Gensect, particularly, is, like, one of my favourite. I may even keep this bagged, I think. As I learned from, uh, Espeon, these can't stand and they don't come with a stand. Ah, oh, that's cool. 
that's a very nice red gensec there. That that detailing, man, that's ah this is cannon thingy. That's really cool. I am this is worth the purchase just for red gensect. Ah He's so cool, he's stealing bug. Just like Sizzle, um, one of my favourite Pokemon. Along with Gensect, as you can probably tell. It is weird that these aren't A, dangly keychain things, or B, on a stand, but I'm sure there's a reason somehow. Um, so yeah, that's pretty damn cool. So that's basically the end of the video, uh, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do want more videos like this, or rather to be updated when they're on, maybe subscribe if, if, if you'd like. Uh, you know, add to the many dozens of viewers, viewers, subscribers I have. Uh, just past 40, which is pretty fucking exciting. So, uh, unless I find gold or something in that ramen thing, this will be the end of the video. So, until next time, goodbye.